how can I combine multiple formulas and functions here in Excel to solve a problem? I mean, how can I use a formula or a function within another function or another formula? Here I have a real and practical example where I use two different ways to solve the same problem. The first way I just using one, two, three and four columns to solve the problem. In the first column we need to make the average function. In the second column we just need to check if the salesperson has the bonuses or not and then we need to check what is the standard commission and then what is the final commission. However, instead of just using four columns, one, two, three, four columns to just solve one single problem to get the correct result, I can just use everything just in one single cell. So this is called a nested function here in Excel and this is what you're gonna learn in today's video. Nested function, one function, one formula within another function or another formula. So let me just read aloud for you what you need to do in this example. If the average sales in the last four months is greater than 75,000, the salesperson earns the commission plus bonuses. If not, just commission. Commission is equal to 5% of the last month's sales. And the bonus is equal to $500. So let's find it out, let's check it out, how can we solve this problem with a bunch of columns. And then we're gonna have the same problem to solve just with one single cell here in Excel. So let's check it out, how can you do it in two different ways. Let's go. Let's just start solving this problem, doing the functions and formulas separately. I mean, I have one column for which basically each function that we're gonna use, each function or formula. I have one column here, average bonus commission and then define a commission. Let's start with the average function, where you need to do the average of the last four months of the sales, of which one of the sales person that we have. So here I just want to use the equal sign average function. Let me just double click it to select and instead just select the number one comma number two comma then the number three uh, a better way to make it to make it is just to select all the range that you're gonna use so select all the range enter and we already have here the average of the sales of the first sales person these last four four months let me just double click it here in the corner of the cell to make sure all the rows contain the same formula the same function Double click it, one, two, oh, okay. Now with the average function done, we can move on to the bonus column. And here I can just use, for example, a function or a formula to check it out if the average is greater than 75,000, for example. However, but why should I use a formula or a function? Because imagine if you need to just check it manually row by row, it can take a long time, so maybe it's not a good idea. A better way to make the, the task, to automate the task just using a formula or a function here in Excel. We can use to make the auto automatically task just using a if function or let's say just a logical operator. For example, equal sign, I need to check if the average, that is the first average that I have here is the F2 cell, okay? So I want to check if this average is greater than 75,000. 75, the sign, the symbol that I use is this greater than sign that I have in my keyboard, okay? So this is a logical operator. I can use this, this is a formula in Excel, or I can use a function, like for example, the if function, okay? Let me just press enter, and here I get a result of true. Why? These results appear for me because the average here in this case is, yeah, it's greater than 75,000. This is why I get true. However, if we just check manually, in this second row here, I have 71,000, and we know that 71,000 is less than 75,000, okay? So if I just double click here in the corner of the cell, I can see, once you, okay, that I got a uh, false in the result. And yeah, it's correct. And here in the commission column, we're just gonna do the standard commission. I mean, I'm just gonna take the last month of sales, that is the April month, and then I'm gonna multiply it by 0 0.05, for example, that is 5%. I just need 5% of this value that I have here. So let me just do it, equal sign, and then I'm gonna select the sales of the first sales here in the, in the first row, that is 96,000. I just select the cell and then I'm gonna multiply it. I just use the operator for multiplier the asterisk, okay? So asterisk multiplier by 
0.05, that is 5%. Let me just press enter here, and here I have the standard commission without any bonus, for example, bonuses. So let me just double click it, and we're done. The commission is done. All these commissions that I have here is without bonuses. However, not every commission that I have is gonna get a bonuses. So this is why it's important to have this column in the bonuses because I can check. Okay, the first row is true, so the first commission have bonuses. The second row is false, so it's mean that the second commission here does not have bonuses. So in the final commission, the final commission is gonna be exactly the same result as the standard commission, let's say that way, okay? However, instead of just doing it manually, we can move on and do it with the if formula or if function Excel. It's not a formula, it's a function, okay? If function in Excel. Equal sign, if, and then I'm gonna double click it, one, two. Now, what, uh, what is my logical test? I need to check if Let's say if this cell right here is have the true inside it, I can just make it uh, as my logical test. So let's say if I have a bonus, uh, a true bonuses, so I'm gonna get my commission and add five hundred dollars. If not, if I had let's say a false in the bonuses, I'm just gonna get the commission itself. I will not add anything on it. Okay. So let here in the logical test, I want to check if this cell right here is equal to true, for example. Let me just double click it and you can see that the true is not just a, a word here in Excel, it's not just a text, it's actually a function, the true function. So I want to check if this cell here is equal to true. And then I'm gonna double click it in the function true. Double click it, want you okay. Now, if the logical test is met, I mean, if this cell here is equal to true, then I'm gonna press comma, and if this value is true, I mean, if the condition met, I'm gonna select here the commission value, and then add in this value $500, comma, and if this logical test that I just made here is not met, does not met, I'm just gonna use the commission itself. Close parentheses, and then I'm gonna press enter. Here I have my final result, my final commission. And in this first row, because the, the salesperson got a bonuses, they increase their commission. So let me just double click here in the corner of the cell, one, two, and we can just check. Whenever the we get a false for bonuses, the commission stays at it was, okay? So it stays the same. It's perfect. It's, now we're done, we finish. We just made all the formulas and functions here in Excel in a separately way. However, as I told you, you can just do it in just one single cell. So instead of using one column for average, one column for bonuses, one column for commission, we can just do it in one single cell in Excel. How can I do it? Let's check it out. Let me just select all this column here that I use for my functions and formulas. I'm gonna click with the right click here and hide. Now we're gonna just do the formula here. So here I'm gonna use my formulas and functions, my nested functions and formulas to check it out what is the final commission. Here I just gonna use the equal sign and then I'm gonna use the if formula. Let me just double click it. And one important thing here, I'm doing in a certain way with specific formulas and specific functions here in Excel. I'm gonna use the if formula, for example, uh, let's say the average function. However, there is other ways to that you can do it and get the same result as me. So if you just find another way to do it, just leave a comment below and tell me how can you do it in a better way or what is your logical think? How you think about that? How you, you just got your result, okay? equal sign if function double click it okay my first logical test i want to check if the average of the sales of these last four months is greater than seventy-five thousand. to make sure this is correct i'm just gonna use the average function within the if function so let me just double click here in the average function now what is my first number or what is my range that i want to select the range is all these first values that I have, January, February, March, and April. I'm uh, gonna close parentheses, and then I need to just make a logical test. So, I need to check 
if the average is greater than 75,000. Okay, if it's true, I mean, if this condition, this criteria is met, so I want to type it in. Uh, no, I don't know, want to type it in anything. I just need to make another, another math here that is, if the value is true, I just need to take the commission and add the bonuses. So to get the commission, I just need to use the last month, the last uh, the value of the sales of the last month. Okay, so let me just select this last cell right here, and then I'm gonna just multiply it by 0 0.05 because we can just get the commission of 5% of the, the salesperson uh, sold. Okay, so let me just open parentheses here in this in this calculator, close parentheses. And then I'm gonna add, so plus sign, 500, comma, and if this condition here, if this criteria that does not met, so I need to just insert the value if it's false, and the value if it's false is equal to the, the last sale that I have here, the April, uh, and then I'm gonna multiply April times 0.05 close parentheses and then I'm gonna press enter and we can see that we got the same result or we can just check it out so let me just select the rows that are just hide, hide. Uh, right click and hide okay now I can just check the result is the same so maybe I just get it right let me just uh, click hold and drag it out to check it out if all the results are correct and yeah all the results are the same so that way we can just use uh, if function, average, uh, average function, uh, using uh, some formulas, some logical operators to make all the thing happens in just one single cell, in just within one single cell here in Excel. This is a really good example showing that always that you have a, a difficult task, let's say that way, you not just always need to use a bunch of columns to solve your problem. Maybe if you're just using one single column and just uh, combine many formulas and many functions, you can solve the problem. However, my tip for you is just to try in two different ways. The first one is to add as many columns uh, that you need to solve the problem. I mean, if you have a big problem, you just make it small till you get to the correct result. And then, after you just solve the problem with two, three, and four rows, let's say that way, with a couple of rows to solve the problem here in Excel, you can just try to make the same solution using just one single column, okay? Using nested function Excel, using many formulas within one single formula, one single uh, function in Excel. I hope this video can help you out. If you have any questions, just give me your thoughts below, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video, and I see you in the next one. As every day has a new video, I see you there.